First question, Ryan, probably the easiest, telling by uh, the smile on your face. You must be delighted to be here at AFC Bournemouth. Yeah, definitely. Happy I could get over the line and I just can't wait to get a season started. And how did the move come about? Because obviously you've had a bit of a, you know, you had a bit of a quiet summer because obviously West Ham news. How did it come about? Uh, you know, just got just got in touch. You know, the first, first person I spoke to was um, the manager. Uh, you know, when a, when a player comes in of his contract, obviously he's going to have offers from clubs and speak to various various clubs and various people. But I feel like the, the manager was the one who really showed the most interest in me and the club in general and, and really sold it well to me. You mentioned the manager there, obviously been an influential part of, of why you're here. How impressed have you been with what he's done here at this football club? Yeah, it's been amazing. I think uh, you know, the type of player he is, he, he's installed that kind of hard work ethic into the club and obviously the quality and um, the games I've watched. Over the last couple of seasons of Bournemouth, you know, they've, they've pretty much dominated every game and played in a really nice style of football. And, yeah, I'm not surprised uh, the impact he's had on the club. Did you always know he'd be, uh, he'd be a good coach? Obviously, you played with him back in the day. Did you always know he was going to go into uh, management? Yeah, I think so. I think even, um, you know, back then he was still, he was still playing, but the, the advice he would give you on and off the pitch, uh, little bits of advice from his experiences he's had at, you know, the highest level of football, um, you know, it was a pretty much a no-brainer that he was going to go into the coaching side. And we understand that you know some of the lads as well. How did they sell the vision to you and who sold the vision of the club to you? Yeah, really well. Uh, I spoke to Junior Stanislas yesterday. Uh, you know, he told me a bit about the club and the area and, and how good it is. He told me, uh, obviously, the manager's sessions I love. You know, uh, they're fun, exciting sessions, lots of the ball. Um, I spoke to Kellen Wilson, obviously, used to, used to be at the club. He sold it really well as well. You know, they said every, every player that comes here ends up loving the club and, you know, a lot of them you want to stay and retire after after football, so I think that that says enough. For supporters who maybe haven't seen much of you down the years, just tell us what sort of fullback you are and what they can expect. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, like I said, I'm a defender, so I like to defend. Um, but yeah, I enjoy getting forward and putting balls in the box. Uh, you know, like getting assists and stuff like that, and hopefully bring a bit of excitement to the fans. It's uh, it's a physically demanding position, fullback, and you must be looking forward to the to the hard runs that are coming in pre-season under the regime. Yeah, I don't know about looking forward. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I know the the fitness coach, sports scientist, uh, the team very well, and I know how hard um, he works the lads. But I'm looking forward to it. You know, you've got to be you've got to be really fit in this league. You've got to be ready to run uh, for 90 minutes. And you know, the the shape they had the lads in last season, I think, was a uh, you know one of the main factors of them doing so well. You mentioned last season, obviously promoted from the championship. You were a Premier League player last year. What's the difference between a Premier League player and a Championship player? The level is just astronomical, isn't it? Yeah, I think obviously, first and foremost, the intensity is uh, yeah, is a lot. You've got to, you've got to be switched on for ninety minutes. You know, you can you can be playing well for eight, eight or nine minutes, and then you know one bit of magic from someone on the other team, and if you switch off, you know you're going to get punished. And I think you can really make them them types of mistakes in you know in your own half in your own box. You're going to get punished by world class players. You're only young yourself, really, but we had quite a young dressing room last season and heading into the pre-season campaign. Are you, has the manager said anything about you being more of an experienced player to lead the younger, t younger teammates? Yeah, of course. I think hopefully I can bring my, my experiences from you know, the last few years of playing in the Premiership to maybe some of the younger lads that haven't played. But you know, from, from the games I've seen and what I've heard about the lads, you know, they're more than capable, uh, the young lads, of, of stepping up and, and doing the business in the Premier League. And just finally, you must be really excited for a fresh adventure in your career. Yeah, definitely. I think you know, this, this, this stage of my career is exactly what I needed. A uh, bit of fresh excitement in, into, into my life and into my career. And hopefully I can reward uh, the manager and the club for bringing me here.